At the heart of our city's story are its historic walls and the River Foyle. Over the years, our city's name has changed. And grown. And grown. It is also known as the Walled City. It is famous for its walls. But in many ways, this river has become our biggest wall. Symbolising the divide between our people. Irish against British. Catholic against Protestant. Green against blue. Although it is a small city, many important events have taken place here. It is a long story and it is written on the walls. Decisive moments in our country's history. A place where people have taken a stand. Events which still resonate today. The history of conflict and resistance have shaped the fabric of this city and its people, leading us to where we are today. We have come together to make this video, otherwise we probably would have never met. We come from opposite sides of the river. We go to different schools and live separate lives. Although we are 17 years old, we have had little contact with people from the other side of the community. We are similar in many ways. But two of us are Protestant and two of us are Catholic. In our country, that is an important difference. Are you trying to separate us? Guess who is who? Are you already judging us? What if we tell you our names? What, what about, about now? now? These uniforms label us as being different. So what if we swapped? Would it be like swapping lives? To walk in each other's shoes? Oh my god, I look pure different! Oh my god! I love this! <laughs> oh my god, I'm so green! <laughs> Uniform, you have to say, Mommy. Right, okay. uh, I'm waiting in the car with me, Mommy. <laughs> Why is my mom calling me constantly? <laughs> oh my god, I'm in a posh. I feel under pee now. Suddenly, on the street, there was more people. I felt under Callum. immense pressure. I don't like it. <laughs> more opinions. It was nerve wracking. Do <laughs> you say no when I say no? No, I don't. I say no. Do you say no? Yes. Oh, and that's from a different country. <laughs> so you don't say I? Yes, I do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I do. Who's your best friend? Who's my best friend? In my year, I'm friends with Rebecca and Megan. Okay, so I'll just ask for Rebecca and Megan and Mary. Mary? Mm -hmm. What? We're not allowed to call our <laughs> no. wains Mary now or something? <laughs> we don't like the Virgin Mary? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> So was that? Is that your uniform down there? It's meant to be our uniform, right? These uniforms label us as being different. But what if we combine them? Since the Good Friday Agreement of 1998, the city has largely been at peace and looks much like any other city in the UK or Ireland. The military presence has been stripped away. This former army base has now been opened to the public. Joined to the city centre by a new walkway known as the Peace Bridge. It is a symbol of a new beginning for our city. 
Our generation has not seen the violence and conflict of the past with our own eyes, but we have been shaped by its legacy. We live in peace, but we live apart. Can we make sure the next generation does not grow up segregated as we have? If we had met as children, I'm sure we would be friends. It would have been good to have had the chance. Wouldn't it be better if our schools weren't divided by religion, symbolised by colour? What if all the children starting school today in our country weren't separated like we were? What if they sat beside someone from a different religion at their first day of school? Does that not make sense? If we are to move forward together, surely that should be the first step.